Sorry, you can hear me, Joseph. I have been talking. I didn't realize that I will. Um, my thing was muted. I can hear. I can hear you. You are muted. Okay. Thank you once again for coming. And the time is short, and I know your time is short. Yeah. And I the background noise. That's fine. We will work with the <laughs> Um, you need to get it done. Yeah, and today is my deadline. So I sent you the transcript, and I just want to know if you were able to go through the transcript because this is the pre com and um, post conference the feedback session after we had done the observation and before that, we did the pre observation. So I just wanted to recap a little bit. We said that okay. we want to focus your one question, question technique, explanation, feedback, and delivery. And you also want to the engagement was the issue you said that the class is having. So I yes. wanted to find right. So those are the things that we said we'll look at. So um I but if you read the transcript and the um if you were able to read the transcript is it was a bit long, but if you were able to yes, it was. <laughs> 30 able minutes to go a bit, yeah. Long, but it was long. Yeah. And then if from reading it, what were your thoughts? Um what areas, specific areas stood out to you based on what we had discussed earlier? Um, I think that maybe in terms of questioning, there were some areas that I could have possibly question more, especially as it related to and then we were looking specifically at these suggestions. Maybe giving them an opportunity question them and give them an opportunity to go through the process. Yeah, give them an opportunity to go through the process through questioning. Um but I think that that came about because of time. Mm, okay. Uh, so trying to make sure that the to get the activity completed. Right. Yeah. 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 That that is a very good observation because I wanted to bring up. So I am going to just share my screen a little bit if I can find it. Just a minute. Share my screen. So what you said, I highlighted some points, but then what you said is true. I think that you did bring out some questions that you wanted different different types of questions. Do you realize that? Yeah. Yeah. So that was really good. I want to commend you for sure. And I saw, and did you see anything else that you brought out in, in the session? And then we'll go to what you just said. I thought that they participated well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought that the ones that I would have singled out to maybe give an issue that they were on task. I found that these girls were on task. Yes, and we will look at that. I, yeah. I found that they were I I found that they were interested in understanding what the words meant. Mm -hmm. And that, that helped. A lot when they actually got the activity. Um, I thought that having a step by step approach to the question mm -hmm. was a, a good way to get them in terms of the correct thinking that they right. need yes. for answering questions. And it's something that they can tear outside of just social studies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought so too. And I found that when I looked at the data, the children were a lot on task and participating. I And I should show the task sheet, which I, because the pace of the class, it was kind of hard to sometimes to, uh, to, to keep um, track. But I found that for the, the class itself was on task most of the time. Mm -hmm. Um, But back to what you were saying, there were some places like here, you can see my screen? Yeah. Um, Here, especially, this way, 
you could have asked another probing question here for you to mm -hmm. um, the definition. There were like mm -hmm. some others as well. Is like sometimes you didn't let them like like you said you could have allowed them allow them to ans answer give them time to answer the question. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I saw that too in the in the but sometimes you did though like here yeah. you said so let us look at uh, at the word suggest we said that said so that you propose a put forward an idea and then the students began to respond but then here like for, sorry for here you didn't give them the chance to say anything mm -hmm. you went ahead and say mm -hmm. idea action or solution and then the children said a solution but then you still mm -hmm. praise them which i thought was good right so is it but i can understand the pace of the class and you had limited time that you would have um you wanted to just get on with the activity but i i, I see what you, you mean and that was actually one of the things that i would that um that was that it was the, that the thing that I really saw coming out, but the children were eager. But I was wondering yeah. if the in what would be the impact of you not giving them time to answer and they not in, and they not and how they will feel over time if that continued. Mm -hmm. The impact that they will have would they be discouraged or would they well how would they feel? Well, what I did in the next class, we went through another similar type of activity where they had a comprehension and then they had to go through the same type of process. Right. And within that, I I did spend more time having them explain to me like what suggests mean and you know, kind of like a bit of reflecting on what happened in class before, right? And then recognizing that you know, do they really understand what it meant? Did I give them an opportunity to develop understanding on their own? And then I use this activity to see whether or not they did. That, that's that is great. And is it from reading the script or is it just from reflecting on the process? Just from reflecting, just reflecting on the process. Okay, well, that is that is really fantastic. And that is, I guess, the thing that since you adopted, I was going to ask you <laughs> how how do you um if if from this process do you think that the you achieve the lesson, the, the goals of the lesson from this lesson, and then how did it help you to improve for any other future lessons? But I guess you kind of answer the latter part. But do you think you achieve the goals of this lesson that you set out to achieve? Um, I think my personal goals are the goals for the objectives. Goals, goals, for my personal goals, the one thing was the questioning. I think that that part was a challenge for me. Uh, well, I would say a challenge, but I thought that I probably could, as I said, hold a bit more. We're on the mm -hmm. holding aspect. In terms of engagement, I think that we, we were good with that. Mm -hmm. In terms of them being on task, I think that they were good with that. In terms of the objectives of them being able to define um, like the words and terms, I think that that's something that I have to revisit to make sure that they did because we did not have enough time to assess whether or not they fully understood. Right. Um, in terms of them knowing the language that is used in the questions and understanding that the language is going to impact what they write, I, I believe that they got understanding from the activity, but again, it is something that needs to be built upon. I find the lesson to be an introductory lesson to the language of, that is going to be used in questioning and that follow-up activities will be necessary for them to see whether or not they fully understand. I understand what you're saying. But going back to your question, you use diff you do you use quite a bit of probing questions in the you use two questions and use some probing questions to get them to think more. Like so if okay, I, okay. yeah, why do you think you're reading it at least twice? Okay. Right? So you did mm -hmm. use those questions and you did say to, to gain a better understanding set to is to do what and then well that is just to let them go on the paper 
Um, but then you didn't hear it. As I said, you didn't let them answer the question. Mm -hmm. But then the student came back and said exactly what you said. I guess I can't remember if they said at the same time or um, a little bit after you. So I just pointed out that was the main thing that I saw coming out of the left hand. So I'm going to, but you did use a number of probing questions to get them to think in the, in the lesson, right? Um, so here, even if you want the strategy, that was one. I like that. How you brought, get, got them to think about uh, uh, the different strategies and you got them starting to think. And, and in this case, you called names. You call actual names of students, like Tamika and Ashley and, and Zakia. Those to, to actually bring out um, answers. I wasn't sure if it is related to, if you, well, I don't know the reason why you chose them, but that is exactly what. Sometimes I couldn't hear the response from the audio, but from what you said, I realized that was the response. Yeah. So I thought that was really good. And then even here, you had questioning in terms of improve the canteen, and you used that question to, well, you answered it, but you were asking them to do something else. What else to improve the canteen? But you, you, you answered the question. So it's just allowing the students to answer the question that you posed. That is, that is what came out as you identified. So I want to stop sharing here, and I also want to look at the um, uh, task, right, sheet, right? So if you see, this is the task sheet, and these are the three persons you told me to, you want to identify, but this one that came in late, Mm -hmm. right, I thought, yeah, I thought you handled her very well. Um, how you handled her in the class, and how she handled her in the class, right? <laughs> I just want to commend you on that because you didn't shame her or you didn't. Right. Yeah, you know, sometimes people be, why are you late? Da, 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 but you didn't do that, and I thought that was really good. Right, so um, so I just wanted to share one of the things you wanted to talk about was the students being on task and the the entire class, if you see, was basically engaged in the in the actual class. Right? Mm -hmm. And I just did it at different intervals. And so you could see that the class was involved. The only thing that you see, and if you look at the table table, you could see that. Uh, what you can see, let me ask you what you're saying. Say to me, talking. You have to share your screen. Oh, sorry, I didn't share my screen. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hear talking and thinking that I share my screen. I was screen. looking onto the transcript sheet to see if oh, that's the right one. All right. Oh, here, sorry. You see my screen now? Oh, I see it now. Right. So if you look at this, these are these three students who you asked me to look. The one came in late. But if you look at it, you could see. Yeah. So what the other... Back. Yeah, they were on task and, and in a positive, and they were like answering questions, working collaboratively, collaboratively and completing the task on time. So do you think the strategy you adopted of the peers in the class worked? Yeah, I thought that worked. Okay, and have you used it outside for, uh, since then or you haven't used it? I've only seen them once since then. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, all right, no problem. So, um... So I think that was it. So I think that the for me, how do you feel generally about the class thing? If given all that we have this. I feel as if it's boring. I think you're I feel as if there's four. There's four. Yeah. I think I need to yeah. maybe use some more strategies with them, some different approaches right. to get them more engaged. Right. But you see that once you change a strategy and try it out, you could see that you could get positive results from the class. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So that is, um, oh, and there's another thing. How you use the materials within the classroom. How even, um, I'm gonna stop sharing here. How you use the materials in the classroom 
if I go to the script, I think I have an audio cue, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to play, but should. Okay, so. But you know that our challenge is we don't always have access to the things that we might need in the class. So even in terms of printing the material, I had to print it on my own. So oh, okay. Okay, to, so that would be one of the. To, mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but the, the strategy so of having challenges. The, I didn't hear you. I said that sometimes can be a challenge, but I thought having, I think having the worksheet, but along with the worksheet, having like a note, not so much so a transcript of what is going to be taught in the class, but like a note that goes through the different things that would emerge in the class that they would have it with them mm -hmm. was a good strategy because yeah. even if they missed it when I was talking about it, they could refer back to the note and they would see the definitions there. So even if they couldn't remember what I shared in the class and it was the activity time, they could flip back through the note and see, okay, I talked about steps, go back and look what the steps are, go back and look what these words suggest me. Because remember, they weren't writing anything right. in their book so having those particular resources I think like well to them being more engaged in the class yeah I agree I think that the strategy that strategy was a good one and how you use the materials to keep your students on task and engaged and having the definitions there and you reading in unison together with them yes I think I think it kept the task the class on task and then they were able to have the materials there to 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 utilize within the class. And even some students, some some one or two students were did not were not able to follow, but only about two that I picked up in the audio, but the rest of them were able to follow. I wanted to play part of the audio, but I can't see. Can you hear it? Because it's not one, clear. It's not clear. Let me see. One of the things that in the let me see if I can. Uh, I don't even know how to do this. Is it same as the system? Um, I don't even know. This is I don't. I'm not sure. I am. I don't use it often. Do you, do you hear it better? Yeah, because I, I wanted you to, to listen to this. You had said one of the things you wanted to look at is your explanation. So I wanted to talk mm -hmm. about that. Do you think, do you listen to the audio just so they were you able to hear it? Joseph? Yeah, I was able to hear yeah. it. Yeah, so you, I what do you think about it. that part of it, that, that audio, that, in terms of explanation? I think that it was okay. <laughs> Uh, that's, a, that's good that's good because i thought you did a great um you were able to explain the concepts very to me very clearly to the student um and also sometimes um sometimes let me see there is another one if i could talk to so it's around here so let me see if I could do it from here. That answer. So that's why it's really fun. You have to spend some time understanding what the words suggest me so that you can understand. All right. Now, before we go, we look at the word suggest. When y'all look at questions, right? And y'all look at questions. What do you what do you approach on the question? Okay, you read it first, but I'll so in that case you did allow the students to answer but also mm -hmm. before you gave them the purpose or you explained the purpose for why they're doing what they're doing and i thought that yes. was really good to help them understand you're learning this but you're learning this within a context and yes. I thought that was a very good, very good um, component of the lesson to help the students understand and possibly help them engage and say, you know what, this, I need to listen to this, this is going to be important for my future. 
Mm -hmm. So I won't hate to mm -hmm. hate like that. Um, so are there any other aspects of the data that you want to talk about given that you saw the script? Mm -hmm. I think that we, we looked at the key areas, the things that I wanted to focus on. And I, I think I see what I might need to do with them specifically going forward. Right. And it, it, some of the strategies that I use with them, I think I can, I'm going to use those with my um, senior school students as well. Okay, that sounds good. And you got to keep me posted on how they would have gone with the different years. Yeah. So if this was a third form and the, and the six, yeah. six, six formers just now? Yes. They, they're older. So you will have to tell me if you have to speak anything or anything like that. Yeah. So if there isn't anything else um, you want to say, um, I enjoy the supervision. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. That is very good. It, it has been interesting, to be honest, being able to, to see the class. But what did you enjoy the most? Um, having to focus on having to focus on the planning or the execution of the lesson a little bit more. Sometimes I find when we get you know, swamp with the work and stuff. You just want to get the content out there, but paying attention more so to how I was going to go through the process of having them understand. I think that that was a good experience for me. Okay, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. And you can use the approach going forward then with your other classes. And yes, I, and for the aspect of also being a supervisor, right? They give me a different, you know, put me in. The, in the shoes of the student. <laughs> right. And did you find it was developmental in terms? It was. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Well, definitely developmental. Okay. All right. So thank you, Jose. Yeah, I really thank you for taking your time. I know you're very busy and I know it has been um a long, I mean, it has been three the, the stage, but you have gone through the entire um clinical observation cycle. From the pre pre conference to the observation in class to the end, and you know that we have used the verbatim, we use the uh, at class, and also we I use Y length, but I didn't show you that, and I could show you that so that you could see um what I came up. With. Let me see if I can. Not that one. Sorry. Stop share. Sorry, it is that wrong. I just have to find a document. So many documents open. Um, what it was is that I was, I was trying to do a white lens, which is look at the entire class, and to see how the entire class was was what was going on during the class, and this is right here. So. I maybe shouldn't have shared this with you, but I just um did the observation. And as I said, you did praise. Um the only thing that and you pointed out, and this was the my analysis of it, that you did questioning at task, praise. And this is my um just um in the 30 minutes of course did more questioning than that, but I like I, this. Yeah, you did way more, but I, I didn't go through all of them properly, I guess. But but generally, the this what you came up with at first, not allowing the students to answer the questions, and but you used praise and walk around to keep the class on task and use resources to engage the students. And that was uh, that's what we discussed. So I just wanted to share that with you. But the class was very good. <laughs> okay, then. All right. So thank you very much. You're most welcome. Okay, then. All right, bye -bye. See you. Bye.